as we get closer and things are looking good even though they aren't right now. Exactly. It definitely looks much improved yeah. by the weekend and for Monday good. for the eclipse. But yeah, we got to get there first. Right. So yeah, so hang in there. It will get better, but it gets worse before it gets better. So here's the deal and uh, here's the story and it is not a great one. We're dealing with rain coming down here. You can see that swath of rain moving through portions of now kind of central New York and will continue moving off to the east, just crossing the I-81 corridor here, the 81 and then moving off to the east here, uh, approaching the capital district. This is the heavier stuff. We still have a few showers left over here uh, and a few showers still you know, lingering in the Buffalo area, South Towns and uh, in towards the southern tier on the southern tier expressway, still dealing with some of that rain as well. All right, so here's the story. We have a little snow. It's not all rain. It's not all wet. It's a little white as well on the back side of this as the area of low pressure continues to go by and sort of drains cold air along loft and plunges it down to the surface. We give some marginal cold air in place where we could see some uh, light snow and, and you know, a solid dusting to maybe an inch or so as we head into Thursday night and in towards Friday morning. You could see some of that precip sort of pinwheeling around, but a lot of very, very lighter blues. So that's very light precipitation here. And then we poke a lot of holes through this. That's the dry air winning the battle. It doesn't win the battle in the green and white mountains of Vermont, New Hampshire, nor does it in the Adirondacks probably. But here in western New York, we're going to get some mixing lake temperatures closer to 40 degrees. So uh, we have our own kind of microclimate dictating uh, really precip type. So uh, looking at maybe an inch here as we head towards, uh, you know, down towards Hamburg and Colden, you know, perhaps an inch and a half or so. Temperatures here, we're hovering in the 40s here. Look at it, right up against uh, Lake Erie. This is what I was talking about. Angola at 48, Dunkirk at 47. So, you know, being on the warmer side does not lend itself, especially this time of the year, to accumulating snow. But you get towards Ellicottville, some elevation, sort of the western side of the Tug Hill Plateau. And yeah, we're looking at uh, the chance for an inch or so. Windy out there as well. Niagara Falls, 22 mile an hour winds. Buffalo at 21. So yeah, it makes it feel just raw. It's a really raw day. All right, so going back to the eclipse kind of starts out here early in the afternoon here by about 1 30 2 o'clock Dallas getting into the act and uh, we're talking about again that 115 mile wide path of uh, totality, if you will. So about 152 watching again the eclipse moving further northward here. We get into Indiana and then for us, we start to get uh, into the action after three o'clock. First Cleveland here at about 313 and then Buffalo at about 318 for the next several minutes here to about 321 or so. Let's get a quick look at that forecast here as we slide in towards the remainder of today. Periods of rain breezy 45 going to do it here. So again, not looking too good at a quick check of that seven day forecast. Looks like this unsettled is the word for the next few days.